Okay, welcome to the Swing Trading Recycles channel. It is November 19th. We're going to continue to cover off on individual silver miners. We're going to do Hecla today, HL. So we will start with our comparison chart, our two panel chart. So on the right hand side is Hecla versus Sill. So Hecla divided by Sill, so it's a relative uh, ratio chart. To when this is when this is rising, it means Hecla is outperforming the index, you know, Sill, the ETF. And on the left hand side is just Hecla in absolute terms. And was what you can see from Hecla, and these are annual charts, so every candle is a is one year of price action. And what you can see from the Hecla chart, which I they have an absolute chart is we had this really massive decline wow right all the way down to 50 cents right after this swing high here then we had this swing high there we had this one that one that's one just marking some swing highs really quickly and then our important swing lows right so that one that 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 right and there are certainly a few others here and there and again, this is your annual chart, so your big picture kind of trend here. This has basically been consolidation since call it 2004, right? Like a long time. Now, obviously, there were, you know, this is a big move down. That's a big move up relatively. But it's really just kind of chopping around here in this range, not doing a whole lot. Yet at the same time, from, you know, let's say... 2019 really even 2012 it's actually been moving kind of higher versus the you know relatively speaking to the miners so that's interesting right if we if we zoom in a little bit and just see what things are looking like near term it's very similar to silver here we actually have three green months in a row now these are tough months because look at this like these upper wicks which means we gave back a lot of gains at some point, right? An upper wick is always a pullback on a high, lower time frame. But we still did manage to make higher highs, or we are making higher highs each month. This is the November candle, so still some trading left to go. But it's definitely turn, um, shaping up to be a little bit of a doji. Now, you could argue that this is shaping up to be a bear flag of this move. So we're going to have to see. But this is definitely shaping up for like a test of the $6.50 range. Which would be nice upside from here, right below five dollars, so like another fifty percent. Well, no. What is that? Like another thirty thirty percent, something like that, right? And you can see just kind of big picture, you've had you had this move since twenty nineteen, this like up move. And this you could argue at some point that this was a bull flag. It certainly kind of spilled over at this point. This teal line here is a fifty period moving average, so this is your fifty month moving average. So we actually closed below it a few months since, what was that, June. So you could say, like, we've checked some boxes here, right? That, like, this is almost like a false breakdown of the move below the 50-month moving average, as a for instance. But again, this is like the similar picture of the annual chart. This is just a big consolidation congestion zone. So you can imagine if and when this thing is able to break above, like, there. And that... And that's the interesting part, right? Like, maybe it never even breaks above there, right? Maybe we just go up and test that consolidation box. That's a huge move, right? That's $13. That's that's a double, triple up almost from this from here. So we don't have to necessarily break out and do have a huge trending move for there to be a lot of upside here, even, as an example. And if we go, like, near term on the weekly chart, it's the same count as um, silver itself. But a little bit more bullish because you can see silver wasted some time kind of trending horizontally. This just kind of went vertical, right? So this was your weekly cycle low, which was a bullet. Well, not a bullish outside candle, almost. That was your weekly cycle low. And then you had followed through the next week, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven. So we'll be starting week eight this week uh, this week coming up. So we're not super early in the in the weekly cycle but still making some good progress. And you can see we are about to test this area here, right? Or we kind of did, right? Like this is kind of creating a double top kind of situation if we can't get through it. So that's going to be really interesting, really interesting, really pivotal because a move above here sets you up 
to kind of test these highs right here, right? So like the $7.38 range. So that's going to be really interesting. And just relative to, again, um, relative to SIL, if we kind of zoom in here, we can see, oh, interesting. So relative to SIL, we actually have a, a, a red month here, actually, and a potential little double top kind of situation. So that's going to be interesting to see that develop because you always want to make sure that if you're going to be playing with an individual miner, that it's, actually, it's at least going to outperform its sort of peers. And on the weekly chart, let's see. Oh, so that's interesting. So on the weekly, we've printed an important swing high here on the weekly. You can see these series of swing highs. Again, this is your relative chart, not the absolute chart. So we're going to want to keep an eye on this because, again, no reason to be in an individual miner if it's not doing as well or, I mean, certainly better than the index itself. But I'd say between core mining, um, Fortuna Silver Mines, and this one, this is probably second best. Core mining definitely is uh, sort of no touch. I would stay away from that, maybe even an outright short. This is definitely not looking amazing. This kind of looks like a sort of topping structure here. And you can imagine a trip below this area. Oh, yikes. I mean, that would be your doomsday, right? Because like this top, this top, this top, this top sends you down there. Uh, but, you know, you could even just kind of come back and like even come back tested testing that area and again this is a ratio chart so it doesn't tell you what the absolute price is going to do but it does tell you there may be some weakness coming up relative to the index